These are the six ways that you can organize your room. Hey guys! Whoa! It's been forever! Olivia, where have you been? I have been busy with life that I didn't expect to be busy with. And I'm sorry that I haven't been posting, but I am here now. I am here. Yeah, yeah. And today is actually a little bit different of a video. It's not a makeup video. It's a little bit more of a storage video. So recently I cleaned up, I like completely cleaned my room, meaning I vacuumed, I took everything out from under my bed and from on like cabinets and stuff, and I went and I went through it all and I came up with different ideas to store things and so I decided to share them with you. So let's get started. This One of my favorite ways to organize is to make a list and have it next to my bed. So I have this, uh, me this metal locker that is my nightstand and so on the side of it I took this uh, weekly planner erase board and I wrote a list of everything that I want to focus on basically just positive memos and notes to just you know keep going don't forget to do this don't forget to do that and it's there when I first open my eyes and it's there when I close them so I know what I have to do the next day so I definitely suggest if you have some nightstand next to your bed put a list there because that's the first thing you probably grab for in the morning and you'll be able to that's the first thing you go to in the morning. So it's definitely one that, you know, you'll see it and you'll be like, oh yeah, I should do that. So definitely try and get that. This awesome nail polish holder. So we got these at the, we got these, uh, this container at Michael's. And basically what you do is you just put all your nail polishes in here. All your nail polishes that you have can fit in here basically. Well, for me, my collection's sort of small, so they all fit in here really nice. I just organize them in a nice fashion, and they sit on my desk. It's a nice little cute way to accessorize your desk and make it look, I don't know, a little bit more fresh and fun. And it's a really cute way to just store everything. I'm sorry if there's like a glare on my face. The sun just like came out from the clouds. I don't know where. Next, I want to talk about my little secret box. So this little secret box looks like this. I got this box at a thrift store many, many years ago. And inside I have these letters that, you know, they're just like old letters from the 1930s. And it's just kind of like my secret little box. Honestly, you can store anything in here. You can store like little valuable items and stuff like that and you just have a box and you just put stuff in there and I put these little letters in there because I like having them. It's something that I can pull out once in a while and just have like a nice little moment with. So I definitely really like having this box and it looks really cool and vintagey. And I keep it underneath my nightstand just for fun. So I collected about two years of magazines from two different magazine subscriptions and I decided to get rid of them because it's ridiculous I have too much I didn't need them so I created my fashion book yes I know it is that's the two um, well see I didn't have an S so I improvised with the two but this is my fashion book. So basically what I did is I found this old journal from thousands of years ago that I used to use and I went through all my magazines and pulled out every piece of magazine that I wanted and then I compiled it all into the book. I just took some photo splits that are used for scrapbooking and I put them on the back of each piece of paper and just put it in my book. So it's a nice thing to do like if you have subscriptions to like different magazine companies you know you can obviously when you read them you like really like them but then it's kind of like what do you do with them after you know you're done reading them or you're like it's like five years old or you know 
It's just a cute way to get like nice inspiration and I really have been enjoying making it. I actually, what is this sun doing? This way is actually the easiest one that you could possibly do. And it is a holder for your, what are these things called? Your uh, hair tools. So basically, just get any bag. I chose this really tall Mac bag because it's one that I thought would fit and I just put them all in so they're nice and organized. And the last one that I have is probably my favorite and this is my swatches books. So I have two different swatch books and I use this for my makeup. So basically, I went to Michael's and I picked up some little stickers some scrapbooking paper and two different notebooks and what I did in each notebook is I labeled each book so one of them is eyeshadow and I took a swatch of each eyeshadow and put it in the book and labeled it this is a really nice way for me to organize all my lipsticks and eyeshadows and it's a really nice little DIY to do, you know, it just keeps everything organized and it looks really cute on your vanity, you know, just to have it there, just to kind of like have references to all your different eyeshadows so like maybe you're feeling like a certain way but you can't decide, you know, you have these swatch books to go to and it's just kind of like a collection of, of your makeup collection. So I absolutely adore this. I definitely recommend it. This is like a really cheap, easy way to, you know, get stuff organized on your vanity if you have one. And I just, yeah, absolutely love it. So those are my ways to organize your room. I absolutely just loved all this. You know, this is like a great way to organize my room and I'm a very like I'm not the I'm not the best at uh, you know keeping everything organized and clean so this just kind of makes it a little bit easier and it is a lot of fun I absolutely love my fashion book and my swatch books they're just absolutely amazing I love them so 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 much so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked any of the DIYs and subscribe because there is more coming I promise there are tutorials coming I promise I'm editing them as you watch this I promise and leave a comment down below what are some of the ways that you use to organize your room and I will see you guys next time peace and love Bye.